Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to the Chocolate Bros episode 15. I'm Sam Riley, and I'm, I'm joined here by my co-host, Zach Burrell. Zach Burrell, yes. How you guys, uh, how you doing, Zach? Doing well. I'm uh, happy to be back here. We've had some technical difficulties and yeah. life difficulties, but yeah, back in the yeah. swing of things. Yeah, so um, real quick, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give them what's coming up uh, as sure. far as events goes. Sure. So upcoming events, uh, at least the you know major national ones, are the Crystal Cups, right? That's what everyone's yeah. super excited about. So we want to talk about most uh, going forward. Uh, we have Toronto, which is going to be the 26th and 27th of May. So this month, I can't believe it's May already also. Right. Uh, we have the Kansas Cup is going to be in, I'm sorry, the yeah, the Kansas Cup is the 23rd and 24th of June. By the way, you, you, um, missed, you missed a, a Justin Timberlake uh on there you could use but oh yes i, I can't did believe it's okay. me anyway all right so anyway <laughs> but, uh, so, so real quick on the toronto cup like i am really curious to see the numbers i wish they'd release them I, yes i want to know how many we don't going. hear a lot about any sort of canada matter canadian this or that um no. so it'll be but, but definitely we know, interesting we know they have wayne so i wonder yeah right the guy yeah nationals boy yeah but um <laughs> the man who he's undefeated right that's what the that yeah. was his Yep, it's and then actually, he also does Octagon, right? Like, he programs Octagon? Yeah, it's also, you know what's kind of funny about Wayne? Um, is I, I've never thought about this, but, like, when you think about, when you think about Nationals, you really think about, maybe it's not to see the same, right? But don't you usually think about it's U.S. Nationals? It's U.S. Nationals? It's North America. Yes, right? but what do you it's think kind about? Of like, it, it's kind of like, um, like, League of Legends, like, you ever watch that? It's like it North is. America. You forget right. that people are from Canada, and, like, half the players are, oh, I thought they were from California. Right, but it's, so it's funny that the guy who went undefeated isn't from the U.S. I don't, for some reason, it's just, right. like, it's just, that's just ironic to me. Um, yeah, so that'll be super exciting to see what kind of, especially, like, maybe his area, right? They're just, like, the sleeper cell of crazy players that we just don't hear about often. Well, they gotta um, be, if they're training Wayne. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, then we have Kansas, the 23rd and 24th of June. You're going. You're confirmed, right? Confirmed. Uh, actually bought my uh, Crystal Cup ticket yesterday. Awesome. Um, yeah, I already had my flight planned. I have my room situation done. I am uh, I am trying to squeeze it out. Uh, hoping, the more I think about it, the more yeah. I want to go. So. I'm hoping, yeah. Uh, California is then not actually too long after Kansas. It's, I believe the next weekend, uh, the 29th yeah. of June into the 1st of July. So that's actually a... F- no, that's that's two days. No, it's that's three day. days. It's a three day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Same. And same, then same thing as the uh, Indy. Right, and then Indy, which is further out, but that's August second through fifth at Gen Con. Uh, yeah. Gen Con's gonna be a sweet event anyway. So anybody who's even thinking about going, you should go. It's gonna and, be awesome. And you and should let us get... know right away. Yeah, right? We're, we're looking. We're still looking for hotel buddies. Uh, right. I, I, Zach and I have agreed that if we don't find them by June, uh, then then we're gonna get our refund. Um, it's just too expensive to go otherwise. But yeah, so if you guys are looking to go to Indy, plus Airbnb, some, but that's you know. Yeah, if you guys are looking for like some cool guys to room with or whatever, let me know. Some cool guys, us right here. Yeah. No. <laughs> so real quick. Also, you, you also the the only criteria is you like you can't steal our shit. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't don't be like yeah. You know, um. So the primary. Well, okay. So that's my gloss over this. I know this is a big topic. We could have an entire podcast just about it. Uh, but it's been maybe beaten to death a little bit on Facebook. Uh, okay. But I want to touch on briefly the format for, I believe, the California Cup, it looks like, because it's three days. California and then Cup the, and the Indy Cup. Yeah. And then the constructed Indy Cup, so not yeah. the uh, draft one. Yep. So, so the format of there are two separate days of Swiss. Basically pod A, pod B. Yeah. Pod A, pod B, basically. And then if you play in one day, you can't play in the other. Correct. And... You cut to top eight on those days, or top. It's un. In this, I think it's undecided totally, but probably top eight. No. Um, it. I'm RB fairly certain similar, it's top eight, it. but yeah, I, I could say it being top sixteen too. It's actually just irrelevant what it cuts to. You have right, to make top four. Because the top four. Yeah. Now you're not qualified though. That's not a whole cup, right? So then the second day they get a top four. Then these two days of top fours mesh together to make a top eight. And then you have to top four that group to go to nationals. Yeah, so let me Ow. let me just stop real okay. quick, and I will, I will say so. Spoiler alert! Uh, at the very at the very beginning of this conversation, Zach said we could have a whole podcast dedicated to this. Uh, we're gonna keep this one short because we did have a whole podcast dedicated to this. Yes, we did. And we scrapped it. Uh, we thought we were overly overly critical. Um, and so I will just before we even get started, I will say that uh, neither Zach nor I know what's best for the game. We can only give you our input and our opinion. Right. 
So yes. we will we will do that. We will give you our input and opinion. Understand that it's just our input and our opinion. We don't obviously we don't represent anything. We don't we we don't know the greater dynamics and logistics of things. Right. There could um, be behind the scenes things that we don't know. Maybe this is better. I think what we brought up in that long podcast, just obviously trying to keep this short, is that we could have, you know, bias towards thinking it's wrong because we've never seen it before. Correct. Like maybe it's good. Maybe it's a sweet way to get a larger tournament for a smaller game right now, yep. right? To get a larger player pool going. Because I, I know space was one of the main concerns is what uh, RB was saying. Yep. So they can't actually fit everybody who would normally play in the tournament so on they, one day. They already, so, for example, they already have over 100 people, I think, in the California Cup registry. Right. Uh, they do have yep. a cap on that. So it is interesting. But yeah, so, so uh, expectantly, these things are going to be large. I think I think one of my biggest things that I don't like about so real quick I'll go over my three things that I don't like about it. Um, one is that like I want to plan this trip uh, with uh, Zach and I also want to play it with other friends and I want to go and hang out with them and do stuff with them and I would like to play in the same cup as they mm-hmm. play in uh, the same day the same the same pod A pod B if you will and I can't right. do that if I if if we want to both qualify without making first and second. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, I guess that, yeah, I guess it's just the two big things. Actually, it, yeah. is, is that leads into my final thing is that when we signed up, when we bought our tickets for Boston, I believe at the time we were under the impression that you know the the top four from the cup that you play in make it into right nationals. I'm just not a big fan of them changing that because it was top four of the cup. And in their defense, well, in their maybe the counterpoint would be, well, this is the same cup. But yes. the definition is not, you know. The difference, the difference is that, like before, I could play in the same cup as you. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. obviously we get paired the same side. It's completely possible we could play each other in a Swiss once. Maybe if we go with Angel, we could play both players. It, uh, yeah, sure, it can happen, right? It's less likely to happen when it's just one pod. It's way more likely to happen in this situation. And so, it, like, we have to play on the same day if we want to do things together at Gen Con on and- Saturday. Yeah, so the, the one of the things I think um, after we talked about it very long-windedly in our scrapped cast, um, I think the way to break it down, it adds kind of a like a a side game. Like there's a, a meta to this yeah. where it's like if you want strategically, if you want to, you know, if we both want a place, it might be advantageous to be to be on different days. Yeah. I don't want there to be that game of like you have to pick a day based on who else is in it or who is not going to be in it or where you think people are going to be. Yeah, it's like, an unnecessary element to have to consider. Or how do we find out what day Akimoto is playing? And, right. You know, what, what, day. Day, what day Wayne's <laughs> playing? How do we find out what day Dan's playing? And how do we yeah. avoid these guys? You know, like right. Sure. So you yeah. you you have the sub game kind yeah. of into it. Uh, also, in a tournament, typically you want your results to be decided based on everyone else's results. And what I mean by that is if my opponent lost to a previous opponent, because the way tiebreakers work in tournaments is very strange sometimes, right? Like if someone beats this person, that means they have, and they only lost that person, their tiebreaker is pretty good if that one goes undefeated. Well, your breakers are somehow deeply connected in those matchups too, because everyone's interconnected and that's how, you know, tiebreakers and percentages are calculated. But if you have two different pods of people, that completely changes how tiebreakers go. And maybe there's an inherent problem with tiebreaker systems, but I think that that's part of the frustration too, is that my results are not based on the people that I competed against, nor are they necessarily based on the people that my opponents competed against. Well, ne- so neither, some... neither is the finals, right? So neither is the finals, right, because right. your pod A could be significantly stronger than pod B. Mm-hmm. And exactly, thus, they, exactly. thus you have to eliminate your friends out of your own pod or whatever. And if, you, if you happen to be on the easy side of the pod, well, yeah, because we yeah, want to see nice and, nice the best players of the total event making it to the top, yeah. and not maybe one day being a little lighter. Again, maybe we're again, maybe it's too judgmental, but that's yeah. that's kind of I think what our arguments kind of boil down to by the end of it yeah. uh, it is we want you know results to be based on the same pool of players. Uh, you know, it's no. an event. You want to have a day to, or you maybe you want to schedule a day, but you don't want to. But you have to respect the sub game if you want to make it to nationals, which is the end goal. So it seems awkward. It's different. Maybe it's okay. We'll have to see how it goes. Especially, uh, I think it'd be nice to see in California, see how that shakes out. Maybe the old opinions will change. I don't know. Okay, yeah. I, I will say this for my closing statement on it. Um, nobody of nobody that I've talked to likes it, right? right? Which makes me think that Square Enix knows this 
and they have to do it for logistical reasons that we don't understand. Maybe yeah. it's the space. Maybe there's there's other reasons. Uh, yeah. So I have no doubt that uh, I, I think that Square Enix is looking out for us, and they're doing the best that they can. Uh, it doesn't mean that we have to be a fan, right? Right. Um, so, but yeah, and, but, I, I'm well, sure listen, that they're looking out for we're us. We're already hook, line, sinker. We're going to play the game anyway. So, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. It's not going to ruin it that to that extent but there's definitely some criticisms um but i don't yeah i think i think we've said enough there everyone's we've had discussions on facebook there's been arguments so so before before we go into what we'd like to talk about uh is this weekend's results but before that i have kind of a fun game planned uh-huh. All right. So Which that, I don't know anything about this. Yeah, you said that you're going to not know what's coming on or yeah, what's going to so happen. So this Zach, is completely off the cuff. Yeah, so Zach doesn't know this. Uh, I have no idea why I wanted to do this. I just thought it would be fun if we just did the, this random segment in some of our podcasts. It have to be every week. Uh, but here's what it is. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, okay? Oh, boy. And there are right or wrong answers, okay? Okay. The right or wrong answer is, is based off of uh, what a certain other player has answered. Okay, and uh, I, I, you know, after looking at the list, I think that they're pretty close to what I would answer. Um, hold on. Yeah, okay. So now, now this answer is given under hours of thought, so I just have to do it like oh, that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, no, all right. So he, he, gave, he got me back like, a, he got, I think he took like an hour to get me back. Um, but yeah, so you have to respond. The goal is you need to respond literally first thing that comes to your head, Okay. So you, I'll, I'll give you five Pineapple. seconds total. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's not the answer for this one. Um, but all right. So are you are you ready? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I, the I I don't know if I'm ready, but we'll find out. All right. right. All right. You ready? All right. So I'm just gonna type your answers so I I keep track of them. Or is is it just okay. gonna be like this or that type thing? Uh, sure. Okay. You ready? Okay. All, right. all right. The best region for players in Final Fantasy. Go. Japan. Okay. The best player by region. Starting with the U.S. Uh, Okimoto for U.S. Okay. Uh, uh, UK. Man, Snap I want to see. I, I want to see. Yeah. Just say it. Birch. Birch. Okay. Had, of course, he's you know, right. results based, right. but right. I was uh, gonna say Jamie. He's close. A- AU. Uh, AU. Oh uh, man, I mean, my first thought was, well, no, that's. Well, I want to say Matiski, but he doesn't get to play a lot, so I don't know. No, nope, I... right, it's Matiski then. It was the first answer you got. Okay, Japan. Oh, we don't know their names. <laughs> I don't know all their names. <laughs> Come on. Based on like, if I have to go based on like worlds, I'd say Master. I love Master. But... Okay, yeah, that's a that's a fair uh, name. All right, uh, rank the elements in order of how good they are, from best to worst. By themselves or all yeah. like uh, everything. By them, just just, just how mono? good? Yeah, sure, yeah. Oh sure, okay. Go. Uh, I would say probably Quickly, step off. What's the best element? Go. Earth, ice, lightning, water, uh, wind, fire. Uh, there's two other elements, sir. Oh, I have to put those in there too. Yeah. Uh, all right, put dark at number one, and then <laughs> put. <laughs> Hold on, go back and put dark at number one. Okay. <laughs> all right. And then light. Light, light would have to be between ice and water, so. Ice. Uh, there was lightning between ice and water, but somewhere between mm. there. It was, it was dark, earth, ice, lightning, water, wind, fire. Then between lightning and water. Okay, all right. Maybe below water. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Best card in the game, go. Right away. Stand Cam. Off. All right. Best combo in the game. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Just say it. <laughs> Your Andrew Layak. All right. Your Andrew Layak. Um, best restaurant. Oh, yeah, I skipped one. But go ahead, best restaurant. Just in anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah anywhere in the world. Best restaurant. I can't think of restaurants. I can't just think. Just of go. It's the first one. Just step it off. I want to see how close you get. Ha ha. Mm. Mm. Give me can't a type of. Gonna... Give me a type of restaurant. Uh. Come on, it's the first one. Just gotta be the first one. That's not very good at this game. I'm not good at this part, man, because the I want to give an honest answer to this, but my first thing, I'm like, oh. Well, what was right. the first thing that came to your mind? Uh, I have this Cuban place in Barto. Oh, so Cuban food. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, the best deck in the game right now? The mill deck. And the favorite uh, FFTC personality? FFTCG personality? Yeah, yeah. Uh, overall, right? Like, yeah, just not yeah. necessarily for play, but, like, personality, just, everything, yeah. community, just yeah. for... 
right. Interesting. All right. So I'll tell you just how close you got. You put Japan as the best region. Uh, Akimoto put uh, the UK. Uh, I figured. I just yeah. think Japan's got way more wild cards than like yeah. we don't have the data on them that we have everywhere else. That's fair. Yeah. And I I have a feeling we're basically we relying on on <laughs> on on Pedro to like right, right. feed us the information. That's all we get, right? I'll put it like, this way: like, like, like our, like our last God's like three things, food. <laughs> like our last three things we've been doing was based on J- like Japan's innovation. So I, I agree, yeah. and yeah. at the end of Opus Three, Japan innovation. They gave me that Gilgamesh cannon deck. They yeah. gave us Soya builds. The four like, color, yeah. It's if maybe they're not the best, but I've, they're definitely most innovative, and I think they're ahead of us. All right, but for best player in the U.S., he put uh, he actually cheated in this one. He put myself and Andy as the east coast and put himself as the west coast oh i would have said yeah i mean yeah he kind of cheated said, but i would have said uh, you for over here but U- uk he put birch uh i i'm pretty sure that that's like un- undisputed now like right just because i didn't realize he went 2-0 in like every match um i want to say jamie because i know finals, he's yeah. very analytical he's very strong but he does lose to freeman birch every time right it does make me think <laughs> it does make me think that jamie will be a better player than Birch eventually. Yeah. Right. Jamie uh, definitely and like has an analysis for the game where he is. Um, he's he's like this one's not going to sit lightly with him, right? Right. Like, like being gate and- by gate being gatekeeper by Birch all the time is like I just feel like this sounds really cliche, but it's like a DBZ. It's like it's like a it's like a Goku and Vegeta thing. Like they're just. The problem is that they're making each other so strong that the rest it's like of you us, and Angel, right? Yeah, except <laughs> except like we're like Krillin and and Yamcha. I don't know, Yamcha, sure. <laughs> but, you know, like like we're we're Krillin and Yamcha. Like they're making each other so strong that like the Krillin and Yamcha's at Worlds format in the tournament of power won't matter. Like like um, it's just gonna be Jamie Jamie and Birch versus the Japan or whoever's in the finals of, you know of Worlds. And this caveat on the AU thing, I only know two people from Australia by name. Vince so. Matiski? Yes. Like, I, now I that I'm surprised. thinking more, like, I know DeMarcus now, I can think of. Like, There's I can't Grand remember J. anybody else. Grand J. Who? Like, Grand J. Jason. Oh, uh, like, okay. Probably, Grab, arguably, Grab, like, like the, one of the top players in my opinion over there. Then yeah, I mean, if I could have thought of them, it would might have. Yeah, been, but yeah, I, I was, was like, surprised. Vince or Matiski, with... who do I think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was surprised you went with Matiski just because of Vince's track record last year. Vince just like. I that's don't know, why Vince... I did it, is because it was last year. Uh, that's that's fair. Like yeah, I yeah. love Vince. I love his decks. I think he is. I think he's one of the most innovative deck builders for sure. Oh, uh, but like if we're putting it between Vince and Matiski for innovative deck builder, like then I would maybe put Matiski up higher. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I don't talk to Matiski as much anymore. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that guy... I mean, they're both insane deck Although I know he's got the weird tinkering because he figures out, like, the infinite loop and stuff. Yeah, dude. Like, they're both just, like, such fun deck builders. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. If 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 Australia had more events, I could see them just dominating. Like them. Yeah, I'd have yeah. to look at more names. Like, if I'd, they had 126-person Spring Cups, then I would see them doing much better. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, Japan, uh, you put Master. I... I I would have put Master as like my third, or my second. I, I, he put. Uh, uh, give put, me other names. I don't remember people. Kurosawa. Okay, Kurosawa. I yep, mean that. the Kurosawa Monsters deck. Never mind. Kurosawa would be, okay. Yeah. We happened to play it for a very long time. Yes. Well, yeah. no. Kurosawa is like I'm like. What's the other guy's name? I guess I gotta say and, Master. I can't remember Ka- his name. And Kaka. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. I've I haven't been as big a fan as of him, but um. He's definitely up there. Those are the three names I know though. Now nice. that you. So your rank elements were dark, earth, ice, lightning, light, water, wind, fire. His were actually probably water, a water. A little bit yeah. differently. Yeah, his his was ice, earth, water, lightning, wind, fire, dark, light. Uh, which the the biggest contrast is obviously the dark at number seven and yours at number one. Um, right. Well, every deck plays the dark package or can play the dark package. Dark package is strong with every deck. Yeah. So it's like, I mean. The argument would be maybe in a monocolor deck, not as much because you don't need the chaos fixing, but like, then you sure, just yeah. get Zodiac. Yeah. Like, all right. So best card, you put Shantono. Uh, you put Cam. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd argue they facilitate each other. Uh, yeah, I, I think that I think that Shantono is a stronger card, obviously, but yeah. like Cam, I guess like 
like you have to play around Shantoto. Maybe you build decks around Shantoto necessarily, like maybe you're playing like Astrola and stuff. But like yeah. you're certainly building a deck around Cam, I think, at least in the future. Like if you don't, you're he not just, he like, enables mono elements so decks, many right? things. Like yeah, I mean, like, so just... Shantoto. Shantoto enables you to do multicolor because it makes every color. But right, Cam yeah. starts the two drop backup that you can play the turn you find it. Yeah. Increase the consistency. You get your chaos out. And just then shuts down mono that. decks. Yeah, and then the mono decks, it's mono meta, right? Yeah. Like mo- most, most, yeah. not. I would, not as recent, I, but. I'm leaning more towards Can than Shantoto, but it's close. It's very close. Are those? Is that like your two? Is it like those two, like kind of neck and neck for you? Um, it's, it's that. It's yeah, yeah yes and no. Like it's that, and I also think between Yuna H and Riku. Like both of those cards, like Riku allows you to win in a different mindset than the game right. that people are ready for, uh, and when games get drawn out, and like Unit just stops so many cards that like people sure. don't realize how many cards it, it stops. It's you know it for stops. real, yeah. Uh, so uh, best combo, uh, you put your anger, uh, the, the your anger combo. He put Al Cid. Um, I think that's fair. I think <laughs> both. I think both cards are extremely strong. I forgot, uh, forget Alcid is, you know, a thing. But yeah, I think that Alcid is like answer. probably number one, and and Yuringer is probably like number four or three. But still, <laughs> um, Alcid's just nuts. Alcid can actually play Yuringer. So I guess maybe it'd be Phoenix Yuringer or like Phoenix yeah. plus utility card. Yeah. But like, so best deck. Uh, he thinks the mono wa- mono water monsters is the best deck right now. Uh, you okay. put the mill deck. Um. I think that the mill deck probably destroys the mono water mono water monsters deck. I'd have to like play it to check. Bounce me, please. Yeah. <laughs> but but I I imagine the mill deck can't beat water wind, so that's probably water wind is yeah. So that's like that's a, why I always say water wind is like the jund of this game. Like it, it is, it's yeah. other decks in check when they're getting out of like kind of weird, not of control. It just outvalues you and just like grinds you out. Yeah. So uh, for best and they have shot, access to the mill plan too. For best restaurant, he put uh, Buko. I think it's Buko, pronounced Buko. It's a sushi restaurant. You put Cuban. That's fair. I, I don't enjoy sushi food, but I love, love hibachi, so it's close, I guess. But yeah. I'm also Cuban, <laughs> so I do enjoy Cuban food. I think both are great. Uh, oh, you, favorite... should go to the play. you should drive out sometime and go to that place with me. It's uh, owned by a married couple that moved here from Cuba like years and years ago. Nice. Um, they have crazy homemade food. And There's actually they like just like a Cuban food place here too. If you want to go, and next I have time, like next time I get town. discounts and stuff though because they like me. So nice. <laughs> um, favorite FFTCG personality was the last question. Uh, Matt actually put himself uh, just for the memes um, because yeah, his face is on everything, right? Like every meme. Uh, you put Jos- uh, Joseph here. Uh, yeah, I both. I think both were good answers. He's one of the most like genuine individuals I think I've ever seen in terms of like he's just who he is and does not care and he's did a lot for the game in the beginning like a lot and he's consistently kept up his you know positive yeah. attitude about the game and all that so I would definitely put him up there. Yeah, I would for me I I would put Joe if Joe is more if if I saw Joe in more videos and stuff I think Joe would be a great personality cuz the guys He's just a nice, like, yeah, there are a uh, champ. Chocobo guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Chocobo Joe. Uh, he's just like the <laughs> nice, he's just like the nicest guy in the whole world. Like, wait, man. future, future Chocobo Joe? No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he, I, I think at a restaurant, um, that we made reservations for, and he put down Chocobo Joe as, I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, like, as, like, put the name down, like, what's, oh, uh, name, the, the call Dude, if I went to, if I had his name and went to Japan, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Chocobo Joe, you all know. So yeah, I thought those were interesting. Um, yeah, so actually, so we could actually just streamline straight into from that conversation into the list. Uh, sure. Starting with the Mono Water Monsters deck, um, which went undefeated in the Spring Cup all the way up until the finals. So okay. Noah, Noah, thanks for uh, thanks Akimoto for pointing that out to me. Um, Noah went undefeated um, up until the finals uh, with the Mono Water uh, Monsters deck. Um, if I recall right, I don't have the list open for some. Oh wait, I have it over here. Here we go. Um, I do. I can confirm. It's basically Max's list. Is it? Is it Max's exact list? Was Max playing Kafka? Yes, one Kafka. Then maybe. It uh, looks like Max's exact list. Um, but could I be. I mean, it's I a solid list. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I don't have any critique on it because it does look like a solid list. Uh, no, you know it's not. It's not. I know Matt. I, I know that Max is playing three hundred Musian. The three mirror web, 
Yeah, so this is, and maybe I think two scholar. I don't know. I don't know the rest, but I know that this is definitely not his exact list. But anyway, it, it does look pretty close. And Max probably had seventeen backups. I don't know. Sixteen seems late. But um, there's two yeah, gal, I mean, three it, it looks good. Like it's wait, two gal. Ooh, that hurts. Two me. gal. Well, it's probably Max probably correct, but it hurts me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, they have Cloud of Darkness. You no, know, I I think this list is great. I just it's. It's th- just good, right? Like, it's yeah. just a very th- solid pick. It's going to do what it does. It has great value. It's got beaters. It's got defensive cards. It's got Emperor. <laughs> I think I think Akimoto's, Akimoto was a fan of the deck because he was saying that it doesn't have any bad matchups. Um, That's, yeah, probably. It does seem to lose the finals of everything. So, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so sure that it has a great ice matchup, considering it lost to ice in Boston, and it lost to ice in... The spring cup uh, again i don't know you know i actually had um see and historically isn't like green dragon pretty good against ice usually green dragon is great against ice it's probably so, like so that's card, interesting yeah. yeah um 7k then, if they don't have duke and you have tonberry as always right <laughs> yeah the, the, the deck does seem really good um the, the thing is is like i can't like give it like uh, a lot of people always ask me like in, for like tips on like the monsters decks but I don't. I don't know. Like I haven't been playing monsters this season. Like for example, Speaking. Joshua just... Joshua Twinley like messaged me today. Like, hey, here's my list. I'm gonna play uh, for my regionals tomorrow. Can you please give me some feedback on it? And like, I I can't because <laughs> I don't know anything about mono water monsters. I just haven't been playing it. Like, but I said you should reach out to Max because right. this list looks very similar to Max's. I said Max knows a lot. Max played a lot, but. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I don't feel comfortable critiquing a list that I haven't tested any. If I did critique Noah's list, I'd be a hypocrite because I didn't try it. But also, like, where are the Earth cards? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I would say is like, where's the Shantoto man? Um, speaking of Earth, or speaking of monsters, there's the uh, Earth Wind Water Monster deck that top aided the Spring Cup. I think that's sweet. That's another. Um, if you were to ask me what are my top like five decks, that's probably up there as well. I really enjoyed it when we were testing it. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. wind, water, splash, earth uh, I love, deck. I love that deck too. I'm, the only I'm thing is, I would put fan. Cam in. I don't see Cam. The Star Sybil, no Cam with a Chaos and a Cosmos. I think that's a little too cute. I'd probably cut the Cosmos, but um, yeah. I definitely like this I deck. Just play a second Chaos. Yeah, play a second Chaos and play I think a Cam. we were playing two Chaos in our list. I think we were. Uh, or was it two Cam? It was both. Right? No, it was two chaos. It was two cam. It was two it cam, cam, one chaos, right. one zodiac. Yeah. Correct. Anyway, yeah. I like the list a lot. This is one of my other picks for if I had to go to an event tomorrow and I wasn't playing a different forever. Like this would be one of my fallbacks. Um, this so... is this is my fallback, but this was my fallback for um, like a version, of, not this exact deck, but a version of this was my fallback for Boston. The problem is, oh, like, actually, it's always my fallback and, and I never play. I, I would be playing Valfour though. I sure. love Valfour in these monster decks. Uh, sure. It's the reason I play it normally, actually, is because I love Valfour so much. Yeah. Um, you do like Valfour more than a healthy human being should. <laughs> I do. You said <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you play a lot of Valfour. It's and, so cute. It's yeah, just like bouncer things. I build my deck so it doesn't affect me as much. Yeah. To be fair, I, I, was, anyway. I was a big fan of like Valfour Cloud of Darkness decks. You like bounce their guys down their tech up, and they have to replay them or discard a hand size. And you just yep. plot of darkness them or Shantoto them. It's, it's kind of gross. Yeah, like Bamfrit with monsters feels amazing. I agree. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I I really like that. Uh, Water lightning Fusoya. That's sweet. That came yeah. in third. Like. Yeah. yeah. I like that list quite a bit too. Uh, seeing Robert Phillips also playing Sid Rains dot deck is interesting. Sid Rains the forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean. Oh, like, is that the similar list to? Birch? Two birches, yeah. Yeah, it, wait, is it the same list as Birch? No, the prices are different. <laughs> I like that that's how you know. In fact, I don't remember, let's see, so... Well, that's the, the like, one brief, fair. right? Like, I just looked at it, glanced at it, like, oh, prices are different. One fair, it's a vein. They are very similar, though, like, two phoenixes, 15 yeah, backups, I'm, I'm, eight summons. Yeah, I'm looking. Off uh, of first... So summons are the same. You can tell we did our research, right? <laughs> two vein, three... 
Wait, well, I, I was trying to keep it where I was like... One ninja, one ninja. Oh, you have them up at the same page. I'm just going back and forth for our readers to oh, get sick. Oh, they're the exact same deck? Why are they different prices? That's what I was starting to say. Like, I feel like they look exactly the same. They are identical. Yeah, and they're both known for playing aggressive decks. I think one of them played Ice Fire, and one of them played uh, Ice Lightning. I think Birch played Ice Lightning in the Octagon Open. And mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Robert Phillips played Ice Fire... Um, Pretty sure I, that's find it, I find it interesting there's no uh, Mateus in here. For like, because you have little guys that are trying to be aggressive. I'm well, surprised both, there's no. Both of these decks are more, more control decks than aggro. Like, we don't have. Uh, like, oh, they do have Orphan. Okay, I didn't look down the curve. Well, yeah, and they, they, they don't have things like Tifa or Onion Knight. Like, they're they're definitely way more on the controlling side. They have like BBs and Furions. And <laughs> they have the new Tella. I love the new and Tella they, so me much. Me too. New Tella, yeah. So these decks are definitely more control decks, where I think uh, Mateus probably belongs in like an aggro deck. Um, Alright, so yeah, they, they're identical. They're, I don't know why the prices are different. So the fact that both of those decks made the top eight of a 126 person tournament uh, says that the, the deck's probably pretty good. Wait, are you looking at the deck, the decks? Uh, on yes. FF decks? Yeah, Look what? at the foil low price. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. I'm sure this has something to do with Genesis. Oh, uh, Genesis, <laughs> uh, and Ooh. lock, right? Spice, yeah, yeah. Oh man. For anybody not looking right now, I'm looking at five ninety nine seventy five for one yeah. of them, and like four eighty nine for the other. But. Yeah. Oh, well, so non foil price is one eighty eight. Yeah. Foil price is six hundred. Yeah. Anyway. Sounds like a legacy deck. So let's move on to my favorite deck of the weekend. Sure. Dan, Dan, and uh, Dan and Thomas's deck. Sure, so uh, your little special Lucid Dreaming here. Oh, that too, yeah, that's an excellent topic for a non-FFTCG related podcast, but we could talk about that for hours. What? <laughs> the name of the deck is Lucid Dreaming. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> Lucid Dreaming is a fantastic topic. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, so what do you mean by special? Oh, that they won two separate events in the same weekend with the same deck. Oh, that's, so, that's awesome, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Every time like there's a, there's a poll or anyone asks like how what how is California gonna go down, like my answer is like Dan's gonna win. Like I just yeah. I have complete faith in Dan. Ever since we trusted him on the so I I trusted him and played a deck completely blind at the there's a cool stuff one K oh, yeah. over at Jacksonville. And he just sent me this list and uh, I like was like, Oh, this deck seems really sweet. Um, and then I changed like three cards after talking to him for a little bit. And didn't lose a match with that deck, uh, and none of my games were close. Yeah, yep. uh, that was where you had three Fusoya, I had three Fusoya, but I was playing Vince's uh, Golbez Fusoya yeah. deck that was sweet. Yeah. Uh, I my only loss was you. We took first and second. Yeah, that was a that was a fun tournament. Uh, we had to hang, actually the first time we got to hang out with Max. The tournament uh, we went out to uh, dinner with Max afterwards and. Uh, I didn't realize who he was at first either. Like I, I didn't realize because people were like some all oh, foils like joking around because I thought his they were just calling him Max because he's I, turned out he's actually V Max. That's, yeah, <laughs> so I, I, like, I think oh. you didn't realize that until the drive home, and I was like, "What do you mean that was Max?" And you're like, what? "Yeah," I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, so like this deck, this Wind Lightning deck is sweet, right? I mean, like first off, it's playing the best card in the game, Cam. Right. Um, it's playing the best combo of the game, no matter which side you're on. Your anger and uh, uh, Lalak, and also Alcid and company. Um, right. So it doesn't matter what it plays. What I think is probably the one of the best cards in the game, Adele. Um, yep, Adele is insane. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Thank God the game doesn't have Shroud. <laughs> like <laughs> not it, always. It does sometimes, but yeah, but it doesn't have Shroud on Adele. That's all that matters. Right. Um, that card is so that, frustrating. Not a slippery bogle. I've I've lost a turn turn one like. They just play a random backup, Riku, Archer, doesn't matter. And then play Adele and hit you, and then like, the game ends in the next six turns if you don't have the right removal. Or even if you do, they just play another one, or you, you play removal, and then they play their Alua and kill you anyway. Speaking right. of which, this deck has a way to search for both Alua and Adele in the same card of Sid of Clan Gully. Yep. Um, and then, you know, if, if the game goes long enough, uh, we have Lalex and Yuriangers to just mill our opponent out with Rikus. Um, yeah, I would say this deck is like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, this is sweet. Uh, yeah. I also like the Lulu edition, so the Heroic Lulu package. I've been a fan do. of that card forever. Yep. And I always try to find an excuse to play it. Recently, I've been trying to play it. You it's know, been all right. I was going to say, I'm surprised you're not in a private, permanent mess, uh, like chat with Thomas about this. 
Um, but then I mean, he have... does he does send me messages every now and then asking about stuff. And do you guys have like a like a little fan club for Lulu? Okay, get around not, not quite. I don't. Okay. I do have one for Gilgamesh, but yeah, I, have I, one thought, I, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. But, yeah. Um, I also like they have the pain that tutors Riku. So that they, they have the that. Sephiroth yeah. to go get off a cam. I mean, yeah. man, that's sweet. Um, that's good. Yeah, that was the next one. It, it, so that's, uh, that's they also have the Wind Onion Knight, which is sweet. So if you don't have your uh, Al Cid plan, you yeah. can do your Onion Knight plan and just do like a weird. 8k rotation there and then maybe ping him off with something well yeah like Lulu. yeah Lulu <laughs> chuck at him play yeah. black mage from hand neg four and get a backup yeah Seems good uh obviously you have like the fasoyas and all that i love like seymour is a card i really think is very good and i like to include it in lightning decks but it doesn't do anything and it feels weird after i play it sometimes especially if you kill something early and it ends up not really mattering so better when you can having lulu having oh. lulu huh you can just chuck it and then free up backup space for a better one. Also, I really like Mion uh, with Lulu because there's times late game where I've been playing uh, Mion in a deck and I just wish there was some way I could break a backup to play Mion late game. Yeah. Lulu lets you do that and you will probably get some other kind of value out of it because you're 5k something. Yeah, and that's so I really it, that's, like those two together. That's the other thing with Mion is like having more than one is always so sketchy because like the card's so good that you want to draw it. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, having Lulu to break it and then be able to do it again yeah, I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah, cool. this is a deck I would consider testing for a little while because it's got a lot of sweet interactions that I enjoy. Uh, it's got the two tutors you need. Sure. It's got it's got Sephiroth L to just tilt people, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we went from playing like three days a week, so we're getting a lot of testing, to playing yeah. zero days a week. Um, well, one day a week. Yeah, I think, wait, is it Sunday we still play? Yeah, we still play Sundays. Okay, yeah, which has been really frustrating. Um, and that was a whole, so that was like, so that was the original. So we've skipped now two podcasts, right? Uh, uh, well, we... Two weeks in a row, right? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. One, one, one I think the subject was like community issues. Uh, and I, you know, again, if you if you ever see a podcast that skipped, it's my fault. It's not their fault. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, I just, I thought I was overly critical. Um, and sometimes I can be that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, our community has just dwindled in numbers. Um, I think a, a huge part of that is is Dominaria, um, because it's such a like it is a really cool set from yes. Magic, and it a lot of our Final Fantasy players have gone back to play Magic to play Dominaria. Which and it is wasn't like, just because of Dominaria; there were some you know arguments that happened. Was, and, yeah. But there was, yeah. Over, it also over, happens over to be that they're all playing too. that now, so. Yeah, uh, the thing is, is that like kudos uh, to Wizards uh, for for actually releasing like a set that's super interesting. Um, right. But yeah, I think that hurts. So so it's just funny. I, I just brought that up because you were talking about like uh, you know what you'd be interested in testing, and my immediate thought is like testing. Like, what are you testing? Are you, what yeah. testing do I not know about? You know. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Inter team testing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but no. So yeah, this list is sweet. I like it. I like the Miser's Archer. <laughs> just like, it's all right. if you need it. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish this deck had Miner, though. There's so many good backups I'd want to get back. I mean, I wish the deck had Shantoto. Alright, Miner, Shantoto, Cam, Star Symbol. All right, oh, wait, that's, that's, that's a different deck. That's that's the mill deck, yeah. <laughs> that's a different deck. Um, kind of. <laughs> that's that's a different deck that, that this deck is just like, well, we're actually just going to kill you with Adele, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. This deck um, is a lot more in yeah. your face than the other yeah. deck. Dude. Uh, so how do you feel about the second place list? So it's going back. Um, I, I like the name Redemption. I think, I don't remember if that's what he called it in the, at Nationals, but Nathan Perez back on his Ice Wind discard. Yeah, uh, which he's known for, right? Yes. I mean, that, like I said, he took second in Nationals, right? With yeah, that? so... That... Yeah, it just it, it obviously it seems like really solid. I think like discard right now is actually in a pretty sweet place. Um, there's a lot of critical mass decks, I think. Like water decks want to find their bombs because there's a lot of bombs in water now. The mill deck, if you're playing against that, which is kind of like the flavor of the month right now, and maybe it needs, it needs to hit its you reaches. Could, yeah, yeah, you need, you, it needs its summons enhanced. Like its phoenixes to reanimate. It wants to see all that kind of stuff. I think yeah. it's a very nice um, archetype and. Doing it is, uh, but it I don't see the right? yeah, Leon. So the, I don't, where's the, the Leon? Oh, the Leon Spice, yeah. yeah uh, I do like the Diablos, though. Like, the Diablos with 
your little guys, like your Thaumaturge, if he doesn't have his bonus and he's only on 1k, shrinking something down to his size is pretty good. Yeah. And let's be honest, he'll probably have his buff because of how much discard this deck has. Um, I like the Echo. Uh, I haven't seen that played as much. Uh, the card ended up not necessarily finding too many homes, but I definitely think it's strong enough to play the Echo backup. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. I like that as an EX burst. Um, yes. So I, you don't have to but I don't know if it's better than Mion in this deck. Maybe not. Like, uh, me owning a Zidane sounds like something I'd sign up for. Draw a Genesis, card and take their card. A, a Genesis, a Lock, a Sarah. A Celeste. Point two Genesis, interesting. Like, even even Minoan uh, Renoa seems pretty nuts, right? You can attack with her, then bounce her back, then play her again for defense, plus you draw the card. You bounce Orphan. Yeah, you can, like, <laughs> you can attack with Orphan, freeze their guy, bounce it, and then replay to Dole freeze two more guys. I mean, that's let's be fair, that's pretty expensive, but... Yeah, I mean, you know what's also yeah. cute is like the number of things you get back with um, the scholar, like getting back the Sarah, the Loch, the the Thom. Yeah, like all those seem really great. Getting back the Renoa will just end the game sometimes. Yeah, no, I think this is a sweet list. Um, and I, to be fair, might I not think be my that, thing. But... Yeah, um, Dan lost a game one that they played rather briskly. Um, <laughs> Because Akimoto made them play out at least a game of the finals. They all wanted to split and go eat. Um, so Nathan ended up conceding to Dan. So we don't even necessarily know. Like maybe the ice, this ice wind deck would have won the whole thing. Right. Uh, I also I was going to mention. I completely I keep forgetting that Glazia Labula, so the yeah, Doom Train, Doom Train has a discard mode mm, at any speed. I don't forget that Akimoto didn't. So let, like, Akimoto like does not let me forget that. So people, when they you know play something, you can't respond to a character in this game. Yeah. However, if the character has an auto ability, you can respond to the auto ability. And then if they were planning on playing whatever their last card was and they didn't sequence it in such a way to not give you that window, yeah. you can end up completely disrupting their plan. And I think that's a sweet mode on the Doom Train that I've actually been considering that a little more lately, that that's an option. And this deck, I think, takes advantage of that very well. Yeah. So how about... um. How about this Matt guy? This Matt Kakimoto got eighth place. <laughs> He's the uh, eighth, eighth best player, right? Yeah, it just flies, through, <laughs> <laughs> flies, flies through Swiss uh, undefeated um, with. Oh, did he get cursed? Yeah, basically the uh, the Pale and Porum Fasoya deck, but minuses the Fasoya. And plays different Palms and Porums. Yes, right. Yeah, I just I don't know. What do you think about this list? Uh, initial glance, I see Zangan and Tifa. That's sweet. That's actually something very good for that deck. Now I think about it, though, because sometimes you just want to get through with your little dudes, and if they only have one big guy, you just dull them out of the way, even if you're not killing them. Yeah. Uh, selfies, very good. Zangan, Red Mage, sure. Leonora, obviously. Merlewib. Uh, don't know if I'm a fan of Merlewib as much. Yeah, because because there's not a whole lot you want to be filtering necessarily. I mean, maybe you just want to get to your game plan, but um, I'd have to play it to see how it feels, though. Yeah. Black Waltz, I just have a weird aversion to Black Waltz. Mm. I know it's a fine card. You guys played it. You and you James, you it. and James as well. James doesn't like that card. Um, who? James, James Lockwood. Not James Lockwood, but James um, Allen does not like that card. But yeah, I think that card's really good. Yeah, and then they <laughs> like every time you love... first with it, you're like, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. It, it's just it always feels like ah, I'd just rather play another VV. But I guess if you have three VV, that is another. Um, Artemisia, sure. I mean, it seems good. Now, this deck is... Oh, it plays Brynhildr. I like that. Um, yeah. I think that card's a little underplayed, because it's... I mean, maybe some of the Eiferts are just better for playing Modifier it's now. It's just fire. That's the problem. It's fire. Right. Uh, but doing 7k for 3 isn't horrible, and it doesn't the matter only if fire cards, The only fire cards I ever want to play are Belias, Phoenix, and BB. That's it. I never find myself Fair. ever want to play any other fire cards. Like... Red Mage is pretty good. Red Mage is one of the greatest backups and strongest backups in the game. The issue is that it requires two fire. So... And all, well, one fire. One fire to activate plus itself is fire. Ah, you're playing Chaos and Cam. Uh, <laughs> or yeah, Shantoto. Sure. Now, uh, also, uh, it... Um, Red Mage. Yep. <laughs> Losing my thought. You keep going. <laughs> that's, no, no, no. That's, that's, I, I think that's actually... I think we've covered most of the list that we want to cover. Right. Sorry, I'm really trying to think what I was about to say. Awkward. Mm. Yep. Awkward bubble. Oh well. Anyway, whatever. 
yeah. we'll deal with it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, I, I would love if you guys would harass Angel uh, to join us on our next, our next podcast. Um, just tell him that, you know, he's, he's been having some, like, rough patches or whatever. Like, just tell him that it's life to suck it up and then uh, <laughs> jo- join us on our next podcast. Just private message him. Just harass him, every one of you guys. Um, that'd be That's awesome. At Angel Garcia will be <laughs> <our> <laughs> next post. Yeah, just, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll put him in the post so everybody can message him. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I, I, I appreciate you guys joining us. Um, as always, please reach out. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see changed. Let us know what Absolutely. you enjoyed. Um, let us know what you'd like to cover for next week. Um, I'm Sam and maybe, Riley. Uh, maybe, and also maybe discuss, yeah. uh, since I, I'm going to count your little questioning interrogation thing <laughs> as the question for the podcast, yeah. but maybe other people, if they want to start a discussion about what they think, and keep it lighthearted. Like if someone's saying someone's the best player, don't take it personally. It's just what they think based on results or whatever else, or if they're their friend or whatever. Now, Birch so, is the best player. Suck it up. Get over it. All right, well, maybe that one, but yeah. I mean, facts are facts, right? No, <laughs> yeah. no but uh, keep it lighthearted, but at the same time, keep it critical, right? You yeah, know, have a little discussion, have some points, and go back and forth. We love discussions. We love yeah. we, we love arguments a little too much sometimes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you should say and, some person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, awesome. So, yeah, anyway, yeah. back to your... Yeah, all right, guys, we'll, we'll take care. I'm Sam Riley. I'm Zach Burrell. See you later. Yep, we'll catch you guys later.